In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to put together this fishing tackle box card from SVG Cuts. I'm going to add the link in the description below. Each section takes a little bit of time. There's lots of fiddly little gluing bits and hopefully you can see how I've put it all together in this video. If you do have any questions at all, please put it in the comments below and I will get back to you and hopefully answer those for you. It's quite a complex card. It takes it's about an hour or so to put together. I've made a few of these now and the biggest thing to remember is make sure you know which side you're putting the glue on before you're sticking it down because if you stick it on the wrong side when you put the box together certain things might be on the back of the card instead of the front. So that's my biggest tip for this card. Stick around to the end I'm going to show you some more fun card ideas. This one I absolutely love. It folds flat for shipping and it's absolutely perfect for anyone that enjoys fishing. I started with all the details because it's actually easier to put them all on the green backing before you put the card together. So we're going to put the box together um, at the end, but right now put on all the details that you need. It's just a lot easier to do it on a flat surface, especially if you're going to add anything like fishing wire or googly eyes or things like that. Make sure that it's all together and then it will make much more sense when completing the whole cart. The glue I like to use is Recollections glue. You can get it from Michaels. I really like it. It dries fast and it dries clear and I put it into these little bottles with the precision tip, which makes it easier for these delicate little things. So this is the one with all the tentacles going on here and then the hook on that and then the reel next to it. We're just gonna glue the white circle onto the blue and put that to one side. I've got another little bobble here and this fish type one. I don't fish so I actually don't know all the names or any of the names of these tackle things so if you do please add them in the chat teach me something about fishing um, this is a really popular card I really do like it but maybe one day I'll learn a little bit about fishing as well as crafting you never know Pop those to one side and we're going to move everything out of the way and put the box together there are score lines along all areas of this so just pay attention to where it scored on the machine hopefully you had your scoring tool in the machine before it cut I actually the first one I ever did of this I didn't have my scoring tool in the machine and it made the project a lot lot harder because I had to do them all manually so make sure that scoring tool is in the machine whether you have the stylus or the wheel both will work and you don't want to use too thick a cardstock. Most of my projects I use a 65 pound cardstock. I find it works for a lot of projects. If you do anything too thick, it's not going to fold as easily. And it's also going to be heavier if you're going to be mailing it as well. So fold along all of the score lines on all of the bits of the base of the card before you get started. And that's going to give you more of an idea of how it goes together, which of course I'm going to show you as we go along. Once you have everything creased, you can start to see how it fits and then you can glue certain bits together. So this section at the top here to create a square is going to create the framework on one of the top parts of the tackle box. And then the opposite side has a little bit longer piece on it, but again, it creates that same shape. So we just a little bit of glue on the tab there and fold it over and you can see what it looks like from the top here on either side. Add some glue to this tab and then connect it to the longer piece at the front section. This is going to create three of the sides of your tackle box. Hold it in place until the glue is dry and make sure the bottom is lined up because it needs to be flush at the bottom in order to stand up once it's finished. We 
we're going to make the fourth side now to the tackle box card this has a few creases on it fold down the crease lines and use your scraper tool to define those creases if you need to it took me a sec to figure out which way around this actually went but it's the back piece goes on those tabs and then effectively it's the open tackle box lid that you're creating the illusion of with that extra tab so this extra strip here is the other side of that so when the card is together it looks like the lid of the box is open once you put all that together add some glue to the tabs on the two side pieces here and attach the back piece to those tabs creating the full tackle box shape and connecting all the sides. It's now time to put all the details together and complete the structure of the card. So this worm on the green bit here, there's two tabs at the end. This creates the back of the second layer of the tackle box. Fold the tabs over, add some glue, and that's going to go on the second layer there at the back. And then the bobber and the fish go on the front of that piece. This green strip with the fish shape on it, the fish goes behind the piece that you've already put on there. And this creates a square, which is the center of the tackle box and the middle section of that. So once you glue that together, you can then put it in place in the middle of the box there so directly behind the fish and in front of that worm this one goes on the very front at the top and that creates the full rectangle of the box and then there's just a couple of thinner strips as well that create a bit of dimension and they go on the very front of those two panels this one goes at the back and put it on the back before you attach the other two details because they will not be seen if they go on first. So attach it to the back and then add those details on after. For this piece, we're going to make the fishing reel a little two dimensional. Grab some foam tape or foam squares and stick them one on top of the other. That gives it a little bit of depth. And whatever you have to attach to it, whether you're using um, a fun piece of string or some fishing line, I'm going to use fishing line for mine, have that nearby. And if you do have any brads, you're going to need those too. And I'm going to show you where to put that in just a sec. I wound the fishing wire around my fingers and tied it in a knot, leaving a little bit of length at the end. Now this length is going to be stuck inside the circular, circular bit of the reel. Stick that down. And then I attach the knotted bit kind of around the tentacles to kind of tie it in and it's not going to be hanging outside the card. But nice and neat, stick those down inside there. Before you add the front piece to the reel, we're going to put a hole in the middle there. So I used a tiny piece of foam and my weeding tool to make a hole and then chose the brad that I wanted to add. Just This is just an extra detail that I added. You don't need to have this. You could add a gemstone, you could draw a thing on, you could cut it out of cardstock if you wanted. I like to add a brad because I think it adds a little something, making it more real. I apologize for that joke. Then I'm gonna stick it through and attach it all together. There we go. Fold the tabs and then glue it into place. Now essentially the card is done but there's still some more details to add. The brown sections for the outside of the tackle box and the side panels for the metal bits. I've also added some brads to the outside using the same technique, making my little hole with my weeding tool with the foam behind so you don't stab yourself. Add those brads and I think it just adds a little something to the card. You can really do whatever you like with this. There's lots of worms that come with this as well. So I've added those kind of all over the card. 
these panels get added on it makes the structure a little bit more solid the brown sections go all the way around glue them on add your worms and you are finished if you've enjoyed this and you want to see more then click the link and go and see more of my pop-up designs please do consider liking and subscribing and hit that notification bell so you don't miss my next videos i'll see you soon